Well, when I read the comic of the Giver, um, one thing I realized is that we couldn't do the story that's in the comic book for the money that we had since we did the film for a very low budget. And uh, so what we ended up doing was, um, since the first Giver movie left off with sort of really vague future for Sean Barker, I decided that fans probably want to know more about what this character would go through. And um, so what I decided was, when I was thinking up the story, I figured that the most logical progression was for the character to actually try to find his destiny, sort of find himself. Who is he? Why is he this Giver if there is a destiny for him? So that that was sort of, it wasn't a directly a, a translation from the comic per se, but what I, what I really wanted to do was to take the feeling of the comic book uh, and strongly permeate the film with it and, uh, and, and create situations within my story of what Sean Barbie would do and, and make it feel a lot like the comic book. So, it, so in, transla in translating the comic to the film, it wasn't that difficult because the, the, the imagery of the, of the original comic and animation is very cool and very dark. And uh, that I feel very at home, very natural doing kind of cool and dark images and, and, and the, the dark drama. So um, that, was, that was actually a lot of fun for me to, to do that. Um, the development of the Dark Hero character was, it was, actually it wasn't very difficult to, de to develop this character, only because it's, um, the story itself sort of developed it for us. Um, you know, we took the basic element of a kid who became something that he doesn't want to be. He's sort of a, a tragic hero slash reluctant hero. He, he's not very happy with the position he's in. He doesn't want to be the Giver. And so in going to, to Utah to try to find his destiny, um, he tends to do a lot of things that, for me personally, it made a lot of sense you know, in, in trying to decipher what's going on, planning a ship, trying to communicate with the ship. Um, so I think, I think a lot of the development, it just kind of happened on its own. And um, it, um, no, I think it's all, it's, it works very well for Ted. Um, you know, this shoot, flew by me so quick. I just remember not sleeping a lot. Um, so as far as actual shooting, I don't remember a whole lot, but I remember when we were location scouting, we would work six days a week making the creature. I spent six days a week in the creature shop. And on Sunday, I would go location scouting. Um, and um, one time, myself, uh, my UPM, Mark, uh, and my associate producer, Wyatt, we went out, uh, we go hiking every weekend, basically, with location to try to find the right place. And we and were in search of a water location. And we saw this river uh, sign. It says water, go down this trail. So we parked our car and we hiked down about 30 minutes down this mountain. And we got to the very bottom and it turns out there was like almost no water down there. It was very secluded and hard to get to. So rather than coming back up the same way we did, which was taking 30 minutes, we decided, well, looks like there's, there's a road up this way a little bit. Why don't we go that way? So we started walking and the further we got, we realized that there wasn't really a, a road up here and we just kept going and kept going and finally came, came to a road and we thought it was the main road but it wasn't it was some road we never even heard of so in this 110 degree weather we were lost in the mountains and it's still like 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 the daily news reports that we get in los angeles of, of hikers having to sleep overnight out in the mountain because they can't find their way home so that got a little hairy it, it got a little scary at times but um, we eventually found our way at, and we learned not to do that again. The most difficult thing on the film was producing and directing at the same time. That was the most difficult. I mean, as a director, you're constantly, you know, your mind never sleeps. You go home and you sleep and you dream you're on set. You know, your mind is constantly never rests. So it's hard enough it is to, to just to try to visualize the film and capture it on itself. But then when you guys deal with daily problems of money, schedule, and all kinds of equipment failures, problems. You know, on, on a movie set, everything goes wrong on a set all the time on a daily basis. When you have those problems to, to bog you down, it becomes very, very difficult to concentrate on, on being creative. Well, working for Yoshiki Takaya was a really good experience um, because I was in Japan twice and uh, I brought the script over and we had discussed a lot of the story points. And um, one thing that we had agreed on, fortunately, was the fact that he understood that I respected the comic book a lot and that I was going to do everything in my, in my power to make a film that was as close 
to the comic book and feeling as possible. Even though the story itself is a little different, I wanted to, to capture the feeling of the Giver, and uh, I think I gained his confidence in in doing so. And um, so it was a very good experience because I understand where he's coming from. You know, him and I, we had disagreements, but what was great about it is that we tried to sort of work out our differences. You know, and he gave me a lot more a lot more leeway to to do what I wanted to do than actually I expected because I know it's very difficult for somebody who's a creator and they create a whole sort of universe, uh, a comic book universe, and then to have to sort of hand it to a stranger and say, here, make this movie, but do it like the way I had intended. So um, he, he trusted me a, a, a whole lot and, um, and I think I think he's going to be very happy with the film because I did everything within my power um, against all odds of, of money problems and schedule problems and everything to try to do a film as close to his vision as, as I can. And I think in that respect, um, I've succeeded and I hope he really likes this film. Thank you very much.